Hello and welcome, it's Jilly here and I'm going to do uh, an acrylic pour on this lovely gallery wrapped canvas which meaning the deep edge this is a 60 by 35 I believe I have um, put my little pegs in the bottom the stretcher pegs, these stretch out the canvas for you stretcher pegs and I've put my giant push pins in Oh, that one's fallen out. So that's how they go in there. So that's all ready. Um, so this is a nice one to sell. It's a gallery wrap canvas, so it's perfect for sale. So I'm going to start off with my base coat of a very pale. Well, it was white and I added some turquoise to it. So I want my base coat, especially down this end, to be this colour and I'm just going to oops, quickly um, spatula it all in just spread it round with the spatula I've got something in it already there but not to worry all be fixed up so yeah just a quick spread around just take this time to um, just really relax into your art session I guess and enjoy for sure enjoy this is probably one of the most therapeutic parts I find is is um, spreading your paint over your canvas. What is that? Some hairy little creature or of some kind. I'm not too worried about getting the paint right down this end because I have something else planned for that, that end. Um, but I'm going to hopefully leave a bit of negative space but um, and do something a little bit more colourful down the one end so you can absolutely use your gloved hands to um, make sure the paint is all over the sides of your canvas and if it's not completely covered it is something you can do after with a sponge brush so there's no, no big deal about getting it all done now so that's little just one stage of this particular pour. Oh, uh, radio. So that's a nice sort of easy turquoise on there. I'm going to just add a bit more along here. I'm going to blow this out so it's not too important that I get it all level and everything because I'm going to blow it out. So I want my composition to go that way with the colourful bit this way so I can hang it um, vertical. So I've got this cyan blue that was pre-made up in here. So I'm really um, looking forward to using this. to blow up my canvas I'm just trying something a little different I have a little bit more and this is kind of a dark turquoise I, I can't remember the colour I'll have a look at it oh this looks more navy okay it's like the green it's like the um what do i call that color now dark sea dark sea it must have been pre-mixed up in this it's called the dark sea so that's a lovely color but i just want to keep with the blues and maybe a bit of gold so this is my champagne gold up here So that champagne gold's 50% silver, 50% gold. So I really want to just keep it to those colours at the moment. I'll give it a whiz over with my heat gun. Burst any air bubbles. I've got my... Maybe I do it... Turn it this way, 
Oh, no, maybe I won't. I'll just push it down there a little bit just to give myself a little bit room. So I'm going to blow this nicely up in a um, nice way, uh, sort of feathery um, motion, I guess. That might be too blowy. Side to side. Gorgeous. of looks layer goes lighter from darker to lighter but I'm gonna do some you know do double is down that end I'm just gonna blow this out a little bit I think that would look nice with just a few wisps going up into the top hand so is this just using a chopstick as your tool just nice and easy there you go those colors are just beautiful 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 so I might turn it, push my previous work out of the way, turn it around this way for you. Just double check, you can see all what's going on there. That actually looks gorgeous, gorgeous on its own. Um, just as that particular blow, but I'm gonna add a little bit more down this end now. I'm going to um, add some more champagne gonna do my wiggly bit down here it's gonna it's just basically um, mixing it up a bit and add in a few different techniques on one canvas so you don't have to just do a swipe or just do a um, Dutch pour or just do anything you just can do mix your um, techniques up I will have to move that further up there to give me more room. Just have to move my lovely little vases that I did previously. Okay, that gives me a little bit more room to work down here. Just pouring a bit more of that base coat on. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'll pour a bit more of this cyan blue. Mm, where's that other blue? I think this is definitely my deep sea, which is lovely colour. So it is definitely in the green blue tones. That's my uh, gecko that agrees with everything I'm doing. So I'm on to a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Uh, I'm just gonna, I guess I better turn it around. Again, yeah, going full circle this one, full circle. So I'm kind of going to leave that top as it is. I just want to blow some of this around. I might just hit it with the heat gun again. A 
blow it around. Just wiggle your blow dryer. It just gives a really nice effect. Like a feathering in your paint. Gorgeous, gorgeous. But that would be perfectly acceptable and fine as it is. But like I said, I wanted to just add a few more elements to it. So I'm going to add some um, metallic copper. Maybe just... I'm going to add a little bit of the, uh, this one is just purple. I did add a little tiny bit of black to make it go a little bit darker. So it is a purple and I just want that around the bottom here. Probably just a little bit more champagne so that comes through. I'm going to use my bigger, well it's not huge but a balloon. It's nice and soft so you pull the belly button through those two fingers so you've got a, a nice grip on it and it's not particularly doing balloon kissing I just want to get some nice um, feathery results from it so I'll just hit it with the heat gun again it's got some beautiful little lacing there it's gorgeous so just going to roll this around Again. so it kind of can look like feathers you can use this to finish off the side of your canvas just want it to add a different element on the bottom So just keep wiping your balloon. Yes, you can put your balloon kisses from your balloon straight onto another canvas or onto a piece of silicon sheet to uh, peel them off and use them in another piece of art or in jewellery or whatever you do. Whatever you want to do. So that's got some nice wispiness at the bottom and it's got the dramatic sort of the gecko approves and if he approves then it's got to be good so that's what I'm doing with that particular balloon I might just come in with my this is a smaller balloon and it's just well it's the same size balloon I've just put it under the water I don't fill it any more than this because if it burst which I had it done before it completely ruins your canvas so just some pretty little decoration in there and I might just do some little fireflies and butterflies so I like to dip it in the darker blue would be look more dramatic up here I think so very pretty so your balloon is such a good tool um, to use in art it really is because it can create some gorgeous effects so that's just softened up the top a wee bit and then it definitely softens up the bigger balloon kisses down here so that is gorgeous 
is gorgeous. I like it. So in the end, it's only you as the artist that you, or, you know, hobbyist that you have to please. Um, and if somebody buys your work, then that's a bonus. But don't stress over it. Enjoy the process. That's what it's all about. My art room, anyway. <laughs> Remember, your art room, your rules. So your balloon makes a really nice finish to your edge with the balloon kisses on the edge. Um, it can just really add a nice element to your finished piece. Um, sometimes, you know, people don't think of doing these odd little things that I end up adding <laughs> to mine and um, find them helpful. So I'm happy with that. And just blue and kiss the edge basically that is gorgeous I'm happy that's absolutely lovely either with a coat of resin or a nice gloss coating on that or matte um, that's beautiful I'm really happy with that piece gorgeous I should have done two so I could put them side by side but I hope you enjoyed that and um, enjoyed my little instructions and I hope you give it a go and if you've never done acrylic art before please give it a go it's really um, therapeutic fun and so rewarding um, and frustrating at times but you take the good with the bad until tomorrow my lovelies I will say cheerio for now please take care bye